How you guys doing? Yeah, we uh, we got something to help. It's going to be one of those things where uh, it's uh, kind of a exorcism. Yeah, yeah. See, here's the thing about demons. Uh, there are so many forms of them. And, uh, you know, recognizing it, wow, that's the battle. That is the battle. Because, you know, so many... The only reason Wild West is going to be able to hang on is because a lot of people won't be able to recognize the demons inside them and they won't be able to get rid of them and they'll just constantly want to feed them. And uh, so getting everybody to recognize their demons is going to be kind of important. And getting the information out there to, do you have a demon? Because there's, like I said, there's all forms of them. But let me show you one that's probably a really, really sad one. See, when when you have a youngster, a kid, and, and you wanna you wanna show him everything about hunting and guns and what have you, you take him out there and you go to the archery or the target practice and you teach him how to shoot, get all excited about shooting and firing and blowing shit up. So you just put a demon in him because um, truth is now that is either going to get fed or starved depending on how that kid acts you know if, if we don't ever expose the kids to those demons we won't have a problem with guns down the road it won't be one of those things where they're enjoyable another one is power you know when when someone gets into power and they feel that demon of oh wow I just make a phone call and it's there yeah these people have to obey me? Yeah. Yeah. That's another one. You're going to have to work on that one. And uh, here's the thing about those. Recognizing it is the battle. Because what you do, once you recognize it, you start putting up fences because you start thinking, now, I don't want to act like that. I don't want to be like that. I don't want to be remembered like that. And next thing you know, you got a good solid wall around that demon. But recognizing it and taking the steps to put those walls up is the only way we're ever going to get rid of the demons. And again, we can't ever totally get rid of them because they're a program that once your innocence is lost, it is lost. If you've discovered meth, yeah. There's some innocence that has been lost. But if you'd never tried it before, there wouldn't be no demon in you. But you did. So now you got that demon. How do you build the walls for that? That one you're probably going to need professional help on. But the power one, the greed one, you know, the blow shit up one, you know, those are ones that you can work on on yourself. You know, maybe realize that, uh, yeah, I don't want to be remembered like that. You know, imagine a vision of the future where people who are in charge aren't worried about being shot because they're uh, actually living in a safe world. Imagine not having to have security guards. The only people that come in are the people that are friends and really want to talk to you. Imagine a life in peace. That's what we're going for. We got a lot of demons to get rid of. And uh, this is the uh, beginning program of uh, exorcism. Now it's your call. Are you going to take the time to recognize the demon in you? And once you do, every time it'll red flag as you go through life now and you'll be uh, no I don't like that I don't like the way that went down I, I, I'm not doing that again and uh, next thing you know you got a wall there and that don't happen again and then you got another wall and you got another wall before you know it that demon's caged in but it takes effort and time and the willpower to uh, decide I don't want to remember it like that 
I want to have honor in my life. It's kind of important. Key stepping stone for all you really intelligent people. And the ones down on the bottom of the lever of uh, IQ, trust me, it's not bad philosophy to think about demons and how they're affecting your life. Maybe you're on the bottom rung of, the, of uh, society because you got too many of them. Maybe it's time to get help, get rid of some, get them caged in, get them under control. Seek out help. Because if you find it, that, that wall just won't stay up, that's a sign you need help. And there's some pros out there that might be able to help you. But you got to ask. you got to want it. But this world is going to be a lot better when we get rid of all these demons. And then stop putting them in our children. Because that's really the future. We need to end all demons. Stop the loss of innocence. And make sure that it ends with us, this generation.